Oh, happy haze. <laughs> This is Hayes here. I'm back with another adorable book. This one is called I Love You Fred and my son he is a year and a half and that's why you can see it's all rumpled because he's been reading this one a lot. It was from his grandma and it's by Mick Inkpen illustrated by Chloe Inkpen. So it's adorable and I'll tell you why after I read it and you'll see as you go. So if you love dogs this is gonna be a good one. Look at how sweet the illustrations are. I love you, Fred. I'm not the best in class, but I'm not last. I pass my test along with all the rest. When called to come, I do not run away. Not often, anyway. <laughs> oh, Fred. And I can catch a stick or a ball. I come when called, and that's not all. I sit, I stay, I do not run away. Hooray! <laughs> Fetch and sit and stay. I understand them all. Those are the words I know. And ball and walk and park and bed. I know those too. But what is Fred? He doesn't know. They say, they say it all the time. Fred, 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 all day. You whisper it sometimes. If only I could, Fred. He thinks it's something you have to do. If I can fetch and sit and stay, oh Fred, I know I will. And they will clap and say, good boy. I know they will. Fred, Fred. thinking, what in the world? How do I Fred? There's another dog upstairs. Where am I not allowed to go? I saw him once. I wonder if he knows what Fred is all about and why they shout it all the time. He looks like me. He has my ball. He has no smell at all. What's he looking in? <laughs> He's looking in a mirror. He thinks it's a different dog. I'm chasing pigeons in the park, which I'm not allowed to do. I like the way they flap about. I think they like it too. And if there are no pigeons, a duck will have to do. Isn't he such a silly little guy? There's that other dog again. The dog I saw the other day. And look, he has my ball again. I wonder if he wants to play. He's jumping in the water and he sees his own, yes, he sees his own reflection. And again, just like the mirror, he thinks it's a different dog. Paddle, struggle, bubble, trouble, kick and sputter, choke <coughs> and sink. Fred, I hear, but I cannot think. A scream, a dash, a jump, a splash, a foot, a face. No, he doesn't know how to swim. It's you. I'm safe. <laughs> he was so concerned. Oh, Fred, you whisper. Fred, Fred, Fred. A light goes off inside my head. Has that ever happened to you? Where you're like, oh, I get it now. Fred is a name. Fred is my name. <laughs> and suddenly I see that I am Fred, that Fred is me. I've been fretting all the time. Fred is a name and it is mine. <laughs> He's so cute. He's checking out his own name on his bed. Now he gets it. I whiz around, I lift my paw, then jump into your arms once more. There's nothing left for me to do except to run back home with you. 
I drag my blanket from my bed and snuggle up with you instead. I think the thought inside my head that knows that I am Fred. Wasn't Fred so precious? And this title was, I love you, Fred. And you know what? I love Fred. I love you, Fred. You're such a cutie pie. He figured out that Fred wasn't an action that he could do. It was his own name. Such a cutie. And he figured it out all on his own. And sometimes it takes kind of a scary event, right? Like a little challenge. He jumped into that water and he couldn't figure it out. And then the light bulb went off. So I hope that you enjoyed. I love you, Fred. And I hope you have an awesome day.